Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the uh, final reveal of my entry into the group build um, of artillery organised by Marcus and Joachim. As you'll remember this is the nightmare build of Ace's 172nd scale Diana. I was hoping that a coat of paint would uh, try and salvage this build. So I started off applying a uh, brown oxide primer from uh, Ammo One Shot and then I moved on to doing a base colour using Vallejo acrylics of Panzer Grau um, all over the model and then what I did was apply a couple of coats of hairspray and then on top of the couple of coats of hairspray um, I used uh, dark yellow again from Vallejo um, to represent the uh, Dunkle Gelb colour and then I try to do a little bit of light shading here and there as well and create shadows which came out quite well actually and then it was a matter of um, getting the water and uh, the toothpick and, and the old brushes and going around and chipping the whole area as you can see here um, I also did a little bit of uh, detail painting with the uh, white stripe on the bonnet and I also uh, had a go at doing the uh, red leather seats so I'll just run through that process with you now. So first off, uh, a base coat of uh, Saddle Brown uh, from Vallejo Model Color was applied. And then I wanted to add some uh, tonal work in there as well. Um, so using a sponge, I sort of try to um, show worn out leather. Uh, with uh, the Vallejo orange brown and then using a very fine brush I added sort of little uh, leather cracks into the corners as well uh, using the same orange brown colour and that was quite an effective finish I thought and so I blended it all in uh, by using a, a very light wash of uh, Vallejo's smoke and then once that was dry I gave it a covering of matte varnish to enable me to do some oil work and again using the sponges I applied uh, some burnt umber and then I did a dry brush uh, with the uh, yellow okra um, and once that was all dry um, I covered it in um, gloss varnish to give that sort of sheen I was quite pleased with how that turned out uh, so one of the highlights of the build And then once that had all dried, um, I started doing some pigment work on the uh, lower hull. Um, just a matter of getting a mixture of uh, all your different uh, lighter pigments, because obviously this is going to be in, in the desert. And then getting an um, old brush and just try and break it down uh, in, into uh, a dust uh, consistency. And then applying that uh, liberally to the uh, model itself now I only did the one coat because um, obviously sadly I'd lost pretty much all interest in this build by now um, so normally I, I'd probably do two or three layers and build up the tonal work um, but uh, I just wanted to show you the processes involved just try and get it into all the areas but the most important thing as you can see is that the models in a horizontal position uh, to enable you to do this particular process and then just get yourself a small pipette um, and in this case some pigment fixer and then using capillary action just add one or two small drops and that will work its way through the pigments and once dry that will be rock hard on the model itself and then once you've done this particular side then you can do the other side again when it's dry you can then turn it upside down and do the underside it's all about making sure that each plane uh, is in a horizontal position when you perform this process and here again uh, on the underneath similar process again 
and just try and use your imagination where you think that the most of the build up of, of the dirt and mud is going to be although the desert was a, um, a dusty environment it certainly did rain um, during the uh, conflict in North Africa so there would always be a, a build up of mud as well as dust and dirt and again so once, once all the uh, pigment has been applied and you're happy then again fix it in using uh, the pigment fixer once that was all dry uh, I was then able to uh, go ahead and uh, use uh, the oils to do a little bit of uh, oil work and improve the, the look with splatter marks etc Now as far as the uh, oil work goes, um, in, initially um, I added a little bit of um, pigment work all over the uh, model um, and this was fixed into place with uh, some dirty thinner so you can just see there a, a lot of dark splotches um, and from that base I then uh, used the uh, burnt umber and burnt sienna to uh, create sort of more dirt and, and, and dark tonal areas um, just uh, applying the oils uh, in small amounts and then using blending brushes uh, to blend it all out again because uh, such little oil is used uh, there's no need to put any sort of protective layers um, on, on the model at all in between uh, the oil work because as you can see hardly to any thinner was used at all in this process um, again sadly that the mojo was uh, being sapped out of me at, at a, a, an enormous rate on this build everything was going wrong uh, at this point because um, usually what I would now do once I've done all the dark tones I would probably then go on and, and do some more light and dust tones but uh, I just really didn't have it in me to, 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 to do the full amount of oil work uh, that I should have done on this particular build hopefully this little video here will show you some of the techniques that you can use um, when doing the uh, smaller models now the camel that uh, the straw that broke the uh, camel's back was the uh, running gear and putting on the tracks um, because the, the wheels are oval shape uh, none of the holes lined up the way they should be so everything had to be drilled out and it really was um, a, a complete bodge job just trying to get the uh, running gear on as you can see at, at the top of the, the picture there that that gap um, basically nothing fitted um, all of the connectors had to be trimmed down the stalks had to be trimmed down just to get the um, wheels on and also to fit inside the, the width of the tracks themselves it, it, it was shocking it really was poor um, but I managed to get it all together um, but by this time I'm sorry to say I'd had enough um, so I just got the tracks fitted them all on um, as best I possibly could and I decided to call it a day so apologies for that but yeah this this kit just just broke me really um, so here's how it finally looks um, from a distance I suppose it doesn't look too bad uh, but if you look close up it, it is a, a real horror show uh, the quality is very very poor indeed um, so despite all of that uh, at least it's done it's finished um, I'd like to thank you for, for all your uh, uh, encouraging words trying to get me through this particular build uh, but for me uh, I certainly won't be buying any more ace kits in the future so there's been some fantastic builds into uh, the um, group build and many thanks to Joachim and Marcus for organizing it all and it just leaves me to say thank you ever so much for all of your uh, patience in this build and all your continued support of my work happy modeling everyone